David, obviously leading up to the fight, mm -hmm. obviously he's not that well a known fighter. What do you know personally about him other than the I don't, stats? I, do, I don't know too much other than his stats, to be honest. You know, I've heard, I've heard that he's uh, uh, sparred with uh, Klitschko, Fury, uh, uh, Michael Huck, uh, these guys, uh, Tony Thompson. So he's, he's been, around, been around the block. Um, but as you said, not too much, not too much is known about him. Um, but he's got the right dimensions. He's six foot five. You know, he's um, pushing 18 stone. So he's a, he's a big old lump, big old unit. So um, you know, it's a step in the right direction. I'm looking at fighting these big guys. So this is a guy who's a couple inches taller than myself, an unbeaten guy. It's always difficult to beat someone who's never been beaten before. You know, to take someone's own. Do you think that's a good way to build up from the last? Yeah, fight? for sure, now definitely. Yeah, definitely. Last though. time. Uh, Mark Demore, if I'd have gave Mark Demore an opportunity to hit me, he would have done, but I didn't. I'm not the type of fighter to give people chances and give people opportunities. So the moment I saw an opening, I, I took it with both hands and got him out of there. This guy, this guy will be a lot tougher. This guy will be able to, I'm sure, hopefully extend me into a few rounds. I have to break him down. Um, but yeah, it's exciting times ahead. You know, I'm looking forward to it. And obviously, Shannon Briggs been on the undercard as well. Plenty of noise. I am envisage him probably screaming and shouting during the fight. Um, uh, was that quite a sneaky move, getting him, get him on the undercard so you can see what he's about? or um, No, I just want to make sure he can, he, he can pass his medical and fight. It's one thing me leading up to a fight with him, I'll say get on the undercard, fight. If you knock someone out, if you pass the brain scan, which I'm, I'm still dubious about, you know, first off they got to actually find the brain, which it doesn't seem like there's much one there. But it's, um, it'll be fun, you know, fun. He's, he's always been a quite a fun fighter to watch. Big knockout, big powerful guy. So let's see what he's got left. He's got something if the fans want it. You know, I've said to him, get on the card, win, then we'll, we'll fight. We'll fight later in the year. Uh, in terms of other fights coming up, what about if both fights are on the table? And any Joshua Tyson Fury, which one would you pick first, and why? Um, I'd fight any Joshua every every day of the week. You know, he's a, a clean cut, clean cut guy. He's got a, a much bigger fan base, a hell of a lot bigger fan base than Tyson Fury. Although Tyson Fury, you know, he's went over and beat beat Vladimir Klitschko in Germany, you know, I'd want to fight the guy who's the, the more popular of the two, and you can't get any bigger than Anthony Joshua at the moment. You know, I was there at the O2 Arena, and you know, he's got a great fan base, and uh, I'd love to, you know, change change, change their tune, get going there, and uh, and uh, and do the, do a number on him. Uh, final question, uh, Nick Blackwell. You've said you're going to donate a percentage of the ticket sales to him. Uh, just what made you want to do such a grand gesture for the guy? Um, obviously, I watched the fight like everybody else, and uh, he uh, he couldn't have done any more. You know, he, he he fought his heart out. You know, he's uh, I've never heard anything but good things about the guy. You know, everyone I know who knows him, you know, I don't know him that well personally, um, but everybody I know knows him says he's a great guy. He, oh, he's he, inspiring. He gives 100% in his fights. He gives 100%. And you know, it, for someone to have their career cut short with a horrendous injury like that, you know, it's, it's the least the least the least I could do is to help him out a little bit. Thank you very much. No problem.